I've been looking now for somebody. Welcome to my small apartment in Hamburg city, in Germany. I was looking out of the way, big window. In this video, I want to share with you uh, how to buy furniture in Germany, what are the best places to buy furniture and some other stuff, you know. And we're living now in a small apartment. It was half furnished, something was here, uh, something was missing, you know, like a table and chairs and we had to get this old stuff and we were really on a low budget when we came to Germany and we tried our best, you know, to find the places and now, after half a year living in Germany, we really know some very nice places to buy furniture and kitchen stuff and some other items uh, for your apartment and to kind of save money and uh, buy what you really need and what you will use in the, for many, many years. Like, you know, you don't want to buy bed every year. You, you want to buy one bed and for years, for 10, 20 years, you know. <laughs> and um, uh, now we have to move from this apartment as uh, we found another apartment and that area is more suitable for us and for our job, you know. And uh, we have to buy literally from the zero. Uh, we don't have a bed there, we don't have any curtains or carpets and the fridge, nothing. Only kitchen and a bathroom and really no shelves in the bathroom. So everything from the beginning. We are taking a table from this apartment and a chairs. This table is really nice, it's from Ikea and the chairs. And I want to show you with you how much does it cost to, to um, buy everything and when you want to move to the apartment in Germany how much does it cost to buy furniture and uh, what will be the total price because it's really interesting for me I thought it will be this amount of money but uh, when I started to making a big list you know from the items we have to buy I realized that it's not double it's triple some people prefer to sleep on the Floor, but I married, I have a husband and soon we'll have a dog so and my parents are coming to us, our friends, you know, I, I'm from childhood, I love, you know, making my room cute and buy all the stuff I need. So this is the kitchen, uh, you know, these flowers are 20 days, they are more than 20 days, 24, they are about to die but they're still alive. That's very interesting. It's the longest, like long life they have. <laughs> uh, here was a candle. It was a gift from our German friends. A very huge candle from Ikea. Smells like, you know, expensive perfume for men. Very, very good. And I love the stick for this, you know, smell. Uh, incense stick. Um, we buy them in Indian store. You just fight and it will be a really nice smell like you know natural table from Ikea and two chairs from Ikea this chair cost 59 euros and the table around 150 euros it's really big and it's it's huge and heavy um, I have a printer as I need for my job it was HP printer around 90 euros maybe but it's really nice with scanner and it's oh sorry and it's like new printer with a touch screen and so on so printer is really nice idea nice investment in germany because you know you have so many papers you have to always print and i also need for my work so here is our cutest kitchen ever uh, it's like <laughs> very small garbage um a fridge with many magnets this is travel uh, places where we traveled Flensburg, Bremen, Köln, Lübeck, Aachen, that's very near to Köln. And Hanover, there are more places that we traveled, like Be Be Berlin and so on. Food we cooked and I found really nice for the spices in Ikea. Four pieces were like four euros. If I'm it's really comfortable, you don't need any spoons. I love them. So forks and knives and spoons and you know we've got many cups and plates these all are from Ikea and it costs around less than a euro very very nice and 
cool quality it's good you know um and here some extra stuff and an oven that's all this is our kitchen not small not big but look at this we are moving we should everybody's watching you i want to make you mine Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. I says, how much do you think it costs to buy all the furniture, like from zero to hero? <laughs> it's around two thousand euro. Two thousand euros. Expensive if you want to start from zero. Yeah, like we started to count how much does it cost. Table, this one, this one, like big lists we made, and our German people they said, okay walk in our apartment and check what yeah, stuff do you long, need long, we make a long list like i thought maybe 500 euros oh no 500 euros you spend like only for the washing machine <laughs> so this sofa is uh, it's it's sofa it was here we didn't buy it uh, but we need it to buy in the our next apartment this sofa is 529 euros and you can make a bed that's very comfortable quality is good it's from ikea they have many colors and it's nice you know to buy a sofa but it's um, not a good idea for the bed because you need an extra mattress as you can see we have and um, i think better to buy a bed and it's cheap as well this table from ikea was like nine euro <laughs> everyone have this table look at this it's like very comfortable you just drink tea and that's all these puzzles are mine and i love the light it can change colors can you change um i don't know from where it was from amazon don't know which brand yeah, you can but you can change look one and it's like perfect for the night time, for the evening. And this light uh, lamp is around 60 euros from Ikea. <laughs> nice. So in this commode, it was here, but I know to buy. We are planning to buy, you know, a big like shelves in Ikea, like 120 euros. And we need a carpet. This carpet is very expensive, but how much does it carpet cost? 100 euros. No, this carpet, yeah, it's 900 euros. So you can believe or not. Yeah. It's from real ship. They have almost the same carpet in Ikea, but not... It's like 200 in Ikea. Yeah. yeah. But when we buy a carpet, it will cost not more than 100 euros. <laughs> <laughs> Curtains, um, 15 euros. One piece, yeah. I think. Yeah, and this also one piece for 15 euros. So I, we count, we need around 100 euros, maybe more for the curtains. And I love the balcony and very sad in our new apartment, we won't have any balcony. Price for one room apartment before was six, uh, 500 euros, but now it's um, almost 1000 euros. And you know, 1000 euros for apartment, plus you pay a deposit um that's not a joke price but uh, you have to work hard and just try to rent a good apartment in a good area because area really matters um in where we do where we live now it's more than 1000 euro for one room apartment and um, we are moving to another area that's just nine kilometers from here not very far mm, really nice we don't have a metro but nearby we have a huge shopping mall and a huge park with a lake and I love it and our dog, our future dog <laughs> will love it as well. Guys, subscribe our channel and you will uh, get to know our dog. Oh, it will be soon in our vlogs, I'm sure. <laughs> but there is no cheap apartments in Hamburg because Hamburg is very expensive uh, city. So here is our big balcony. It's like very huge. This is our house owner living nearby us and in our new apartment we will live in the eighth eight floor <laughs> and there is an elevator till the seventh floor and then you walk <laughs> it's like a doctor building guys subscribe our channel we will show you our uh, next apartment new apartment um i think it will be in december yeah december first uh, so december <laughs> so now we are trying you know 
uh, when you buy everything in one day it 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 hurts when, <laughs> when you have to spend 500 euros at once and you just buy like 10 20 20 20 euro i think for me it's easy to pay small amount doesn't matter that i i will spend 500 same 500 euros you know at last and we are buying some items we are trying to um you know when i see some cheap table for nine euros like i just take it because I won't find table for nine euros like because yes. you have to pay for the delivery yeah. that also costs money don't forget and it's germany and even people deliver to you bed and mattress to your door they will put it downstairs no one will take it to the eighth floor you know it's germany you have to pay extra money if you want to install uh, something and help from workers you have to pay extra 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 and it's not one two euros 30 50 euros so <laughs> it's germany uh, we need a bed, we need a mattress, and we need a Pillow. carpet, pillows, you know, you think, okay, bed, mattress, carpet, mm, pillows, pants, pillow cover, pillow blanket, cover, blanket. <laughs> so guys, uh, really, we have a long, long list, yeah. and I think that Ikea is one of the best places in Germany to buy mm, furniture and items for your house. For house items, Ikea is good. And my friend told me that if you want to buy a pen, in a case there is 9 euro pen. But you will have to buy every 3-4 months new pen because of the quality. Uh, it's okay for the first time, but my friend told me in Aldi market you can buy a really good pens in a low price. Like T-File and so on. I'm gonna check it. And if I see some discount items, I buy and put okay show me it's the most important room <laughs> bathroom should be always new and clean Ta -da! a carpet very expensive <laughs> you can sleep yeah it's, it's like the softest carpet in my life so here is a bathroom yeah we just go inside and a small shelf where you can put all the hundred shampoos of nastia <laughs> and one for asses and you always have to clean you you will show us how do you take a shower <laughs> okay so and here is the hugest mirror in my life that you know you have to always clean because water doors are very disturbing it's a, big mirror. It's a huge mirror <laughs> we are two people and we look so tiny tiny um yep and a toilet of course and these shelves I bought in Ikea, I thought they will look nice, but now I don't like them. So this is a bathroom in our apartment. How? And a corridor. Corridor is like one extra room. Here is a mattress hiding, <laughs> so, and a lot of stuff, you know, of our friends and house owners and our stuff. And a bedroom. Um, It's more than 50 square meters, I think 55. Yeah, yeah. And our next new apartment will be 44 square meters <laughs> but it uh, uh, the kitchen is smaller mm -hmm. and the bedroom is really huge so we have to decorate it good i'm checking pinterest and so on okay so i think we'll go out and show the area and grab a coffee what do you think yes, sure. let's go we teleport teleportation <laughs> time traveled <laughs> happy 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 day Cheers. That's a huge latte. Latte? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like... No, here. Only here. Coffee is life. So, we decided to walk in our area and grab a cup of coffee. You know, this is very easy when you just go out from your, from your apartment. And in front of you, ta-da, a coffee shop. Our apartment is one of the most beautiful, I think, in Hamburg. I'm very sad we're moving from here, but that area will be better for us. And it's near to, um, to the shopping mall and all other stores. How are you? In Germany, they are preparing for the Christmas. They put Christmas lights. And we live here, so it's in front of our house. This is good. And here the salon. Um, 
shops, coffee shop new here, beautiful area. Okay, now let's see what's inside the building. <laughs> the rent in here is more than 1000 euro for one room apartment. Okay, let's go inside. We have underground. <laughs> here, no one can come inside. Uh, it's a full floor building. I need a torch. Okay. So this is an underground for people who live here. It's a storage rooms. You can put your stuff and lock. And ta -da! <laughs> looks scary. It's a washing machine. You can wash your clothes here, but no one is using it. It's it's not even working. And here you can go out. Let's go. Oh, it's a parking. Yeah, here you go out. Light? No. So, there. A lot of cars. And outside. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> very, very huge outside area so we live there where you can see the pink blanket yeah. we should remove that oh it's my t-shirt yeah you can enjoy the squirrels very huge area some people put chair and table and do barbecue so we live on the third floor here And there is a playground for the kids. Scary. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I said people put a chair, table, and you can have a breakfast, lunch, dinner outside. Very, very calm. There is no one is talking, only me. <laughs> I'm not sure you can go there. Better not to do it. Just barbecue some more time here. Yeah. Barbecue. It's good for our dog, but we will not live here. <laughs> We're taking our dog to our new apartment because this apartment doesn't allow any animals. I mean dogs no pets. no pets and when we were making a contact in our new apartment we told our new house owner we have a dog he's like okay and in the contract we wrote that we can have a dog we can have small pets and this is very important you know to write in the contract so no more no more questions no one will ask you why did you bring your dog it's written in the contract, but here we're not allowed. There are more rooms. Mm. One more room, and it's like a storage room for food. But I think we'll not go there because our house owner own that room. What is not open it? <laughs> it will be fun. <laughs> we can climb. We wanted to wash here clothes one time, but it doesn't really work. Very hot here. Okay. Oh, yay! And here is an elevator. Uh, let's. Our coffee. Assis, I think you can call the elevator. Let's stay here. What does it mean? Phew! <laughs> 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 and this is what? Wasser. Wasser. Room. Water room for water. Okay, elevator. We are so lazy to go to the third floor, so we take elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
okay we are back finally i can remove my makeup and clothes <laughs> you know you know what happened to my socks you want to laugh guys write in comments who socks also <laughs> look at take it <laughs> look at this what's wrong with your socks h and them <laughs> why do i have to wear socks <laughs> <laughs> so funny <laughs> oh hungry um yeah so that's all it's our apartment it's our area nothing else very beautiful area so what's next is to remove all this stuff remove makeup because makeup make life hard you know <laughs> like you're wearing an extra face and from our area to the central street is really near you can take a metro and it's like three or four stations by metro to the town hall area you know the main street in Hamburg and I have uh, one more problem like it's my first time uh, celebrating Christmas uh, and New Year here in Germany and I really guys don't know what to give as a gift to German people. We have two families that are our friends. One uh, is um, husband and wife, German people. And other family of uh, um, is uh, husband, wife and two kids. Uh, kids are very small. It's not hard to give them, you know, to make a gift for the kids. But it's really hard uh, to give, to buy a gift for the German people. And I really have no idea. I checked H and M home, maybe some stuff for home. Um, don't like anything, or they already have it, you know, like German. And really, so hard. Uh, maybe, guys, you can give us some ideas. Uh, what presents uh, do you often give to your friends or relatives? Um, in Germany, it will be really helpful for me. I don't like running before one, two days. What to buy, what to buy, what to buy? And just get any item, be online, I can order because I still have time. You know, that's why I would like to make everything in advance because you can buy online. <laughs> Christmas is coming and we'll make a very nice video about Christmas and Christmas preparation. Guys waiting for comments about Christmas gifts for German people. And uh, thanks for watching, Phoenix. Bye.